In this video, we will perform an efficiency comparison between a brushless DC or BLDC motor and a stepper motor. To do this, we will look at the DC current draw of both motor types under different load conditions. Here are the two motors used for comparison, a NEMA 17 three-phase BLDC motor on the left and a NEMA 23 bipolar stepper motor on the right. In this stepper motor test setup, a NEMA 23 bipolar stepper motor is used along with a magnetic particle brake for load simulation. There is an encoder mounted on the other end of the particle brake to monitor the shaft's rotational speed. The operating setup for the stepper motor includes a bipolar stepper motor driver, which operates from a wide 4.5 volt to 35 volt supply voltage range, and can deliver up to 3 amps. To power the stepper motor driver, a 24 volt DC bench supply is used in series with a current meter to measure the stepper motor's DC current draw under different load conditions. To configure the stepper motor driver, the GUI is used to set the step mode, rated current, and other settings for the motor. Lastly, a function generator is used to send square pulses to the driver to drive the motor forward. For the BLDC test setup, the same particle brake is used for load simulation, along with Easy Motion's MMS 742 MEMA 17 BLDC motor with an integrated controller. The operating setup includes Easy Motion's MMS 742 all in one motor control solution, which features a built in power stage driver and field oriented controller, or FOC, with an embedded position sensor. To power the controller, a 24 volt DC bench supply is used in series with a current meter to measure the BLDC motor's DC current draw under different load conditions. For this test, the Motion Lab GUI is used to drive the BLDC motor in speed control mode. Let's take a look at the results from these test setups. In this plot, the DC current measured from the current meter is plotted on the y-axis, and the respective nominal speed of the motors are plotted on the x-axis. The BLDC motor's current draw under a no-load condition is shown in blue. As the motor speed increases, the motor's current draw increases linearly and stays within one-tenth of an amp. In all motors, torque is proportional to the winding current. In this case, the BLDC motor only draws a small current needed to rotate the rotor. Now let's look at the stepper motor. This was tested at three different micro-stepping resolutions. The stepper motor's zero-speed current draw is significantly higher than that of the BLDC motor. As stepper motors typically operate in constant current mode, a large portion of the energy is wasted in the motor windings in the form of heat. In this mode, the stepper motor's current draw remains high throughout the low-speed range and falls off at the high-speed range due to higher back EMF and inductance on the motor windings. This is a plot with some load added to the shaft. The stepper motor still draws almost the same amount of current as it does under a no-load condition. As the stepper motor's speed increases, due to the winding inductance, the current becomes less responsive in motor windings. As the current in the windings decreases, so does the torque produced by the stepper motor. This causes the stepper motor to stall at high-speed operation. In addition, increasing the micro-stepping resolution causes a decrease in the torque produced by the motor. As we can see, when the stepper motor is operating at 1 8 step and quarter step, it stalls at mid-range speeds. For the BLDC motor, the winding current is a function of the load. Therefore, the BLDC motor only draws what it needs depending on the load, and remains operational even at high speeds. Here is the plot with a little more load on the shaft. At this load condition, the stepper motor draws nearly the same current as under previous load conditions. In half-step mode, it stalls at a lower speed than under previous load conditions. On the other hand, the BLDC motor's current draw is higher to compensate for the load increase. The LDC motor's ability to regulate the current according to the load makes these motors highly efficient for low and high-speed applications. Due to constant current operation, stepper motors waste excessive energy compared to BLDC motors, regardless of the load. Unlike BLDC motors, stepper motors don't produce high torque at a high-speed range. They also dissipate more heat into their surroundings. Therefore, stepper motor applications require proper thermal design considerations. With micro-stepping, stepper motors offer superior positional accuracy over BLDC motors, but offer less torque, starting at mid-range speeds. Overall, stepper motors are a cheaper solution for mainly low-speed applications. While BLDC motors can be more costly, they provide a reliable, consistent solution and offer high efficiency and accuracy at a wide range of speeds. To learn more, visit www.easymotion.co. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest on our innovative motion control solutions.